Hello, Dalens. There has been a leak for Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Do keep in mind that the leak is one year old. While the leak was leaked recently, that's a lot of leaks, not to cook with. The contents of the leak is from pre-alpha milestone. This person says, background. A kind of playtester shared the recorded gameplay of Dragon Age 4 that was in early alpha at that stage. I saw what they recorded before they were shuffled to another project. What is in the video? It's about 20 minutes of gameplay involving one segment slash dungeon. We can see it's ways hop. It is one dungeon. It doesn't look completely rendered. We've got our abilities here. That's Dragon Age. -y. This stays on the whole time. It's on even in the screenshots. I don't know who Rook is, but Davrin was in the behind the scenes. For the Wardens! So Davrin is a Grey Warden, and just in terms of what this is, it speaks to me an origin story, race slash class origin story that begins and ways hopped if you get to choose to be a Grey Warden. It's my observation. That's just a short clip of the 20 minutes that this person got to see. The entire gameplay is set within the Grey Warden's Fortress HQ of Wasehopped. That's what the location text literally says. This confirms that we're going to waste. That's not just in Tevinter. I've been saying Tevinter, Navarra, Antiva, the Anderfels, and Ravain. Maybe Seheron and Parvolin if we're lucky. So... Mm, I'm pretty happy about that, especially if it's an origin story. I'm pretty happy about that. And even if it looks kind of dark in terms of the lighting and it's not completely rendered, like the textures aren't fully there or whatever, there are a lot of details that will be get added in later on. So I'm not worried about any of that. Gameplay is alpha, so there isn't a whole lot of detail and there are missing textures for a lot of elements. Well, there we go. Basically, buildings and whatnot are all modeled and textured, but the skybox itself is very dark and makes it seem as though the entire fortress is underground, although it is clearly not. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I suspect you have questions. The skybox could contain some giant world event similar to the breach they hadn't finished. The player character is an elven, elvish knight for Dragon Age. We say elven, elvish is more Tolkien-esque. Uh, just, hey, just getting a little nitpicky here about the different lores of the different things. Hey, that's, that, that's me. <laughs> Distinguish the elves from Lord of the Rings and the elves from Dragon Age. Just saying. An Elven Knight class, the character screen actually says they are mid-level Grey Warden. Having Elven Knight, maybe Dwarven Rogue, I think that for incorporating the race within the class could make each class a little bit unique. So maybe some skills and abilities are a little bit different for an archer who is an elf versus an archer who's a human or a dwarf or a kunari. That would be really interesting having unique abilities, not only based on your class, but based on your race. They also have two party members, another knight dude and a female dwarf rogue. I suspect you have questions. Both models are placeholders. <laughs> yes, I'm going to say that every time. I'm sorry. And they will actually look like they do in the final game. Obviously. Darkspawn are currently attacking Wasthop. No surprises there. And there are roots all over the place alongside Red Lyrium popping up here and there. Nah, no surprises there. Uh, it's spreading everywhere. What I've been saying for ages not dragon age ages because then that would make me 400 years old oddly the dark spawn also apparently are infused with red lyrium well that's what some of you were saying just them up that some of the enemies like in the trailer that we saw the red lyrium is not only spreading everywhere but spreading within the dark spawn and the dark spawn have the taint so it would kind of make sense. Of course, I do want to see the Blight Tainted Titan and uh, the other taint, Hormac. You know, it is a kind of taint and it's tainted beings that are turned into monsters. So that would be very interesting to see an enemy that has the Blight, for example, uh, Darkspawn with the Red Lyrium taint <laughs> and transformed into a monster. <laughs> Yay! Well, if I were in Thedos, it would be no joke, but it would be fun to combat. So apparently are infused with Lyra and have Red Lyrium attacks and have red eyes. Red Lyrium attacks, that's really cool. And maybe we'd be able to gain some of that. The objective is to fight through the Darkspawn to get to the library, but as you're doing so, there is also a big ass dragon attacking from above. 
dragons. Of course, there has to be dragons. Because, you know, it is Dragon Age. And the dragon creates occasional environmental and traversal hazards. It ends once you reach the library. Close the gates and then come face to face with the dragon. It appears you are then supposed to try and chain the dragon up, but it ends before the player completes that. There is no audio, and while there are subtitles, they are mostly glitched and frozen, so you can't tell what people are saying during the cutscene or combats. The way that this leak is and everything it gives me the impression that someone somewhere at buyer was like yeah we're gonna fix this up to make it look like it's a leak or well it is a leak but we're allowing it if it were an actual leak the dialogue wouldn't be frozen in place it seems to me like this leak was a permissible leak and it was structured purposely to protect what bioware does not want actually leaked you know so this is what we're allowing okay so the setup and general overview now for the juicy gameplay details Ooh, combat is completely in real time similar to hack and slash i don't know hack and slash if it's gonna be more similar to dragon age 2 there is the possibility that you can choose you know that there could be different combat modes to choose from it also while very different to star wars the old republic it makes me think of star wars the old republic which is always in real time you can't pause combat just vroom vroom bra 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 so sorry <laughs> it's like <laughs> i'm imagining my sage so I'm not worried about it. I do want more of a Dragon Age Inquisition combat style, but we do not see of what it is today. It's very different from what it was a year ago, obviously, and there's still time for it to adjust and adapt. So I'm not worried. My priority is the story. Like I played Mass Effect. I'm terrible at shooting. I do not like the combat in Mass Effect, but I've played the game several times because I love the story. As long as I can survive the combat somehow to get through the story. Player has their regular combo attack and then their abilities as well as a special bar, which generates allow you to pull off a special move. So maybe there's like combos and stuff, but that's kind of interesting. Like another additional special bar for combos. I don't really understand the comparison to Final Fantasy 15's wheel. It's standard Dragon Age ability wheel. That's what it looked like to me. There was no party control demonstrated. I think it's safe bet to say you will not be able to directly control your party members in this game. I disagree just because the leak did not show this does not mean it won't be possible every dragon age game it was possible it is a unique thing to bioware games and especially in dragon age it strikes me as they didn't want that in the leak and maybe it's a feature that was disabled for the leak or wasn't yet implemented i'm not worried there just because it says here and just because the leak doesn't show it doesn't mean it's not possible and won't be possible when Dragon Age Dreadwolf comes out. And so I suspect that it will be possible. That's just me. But we do have to keep in mind that this leak looks very much like a permitted leak and that a lot of features were disabled. A lot of the elements look like placeholders. You got 99999 coins, gold, you got, you know, it's uh infinite potions it, it was made a certain way just to show some content that said you likely will be able to tell them to execute certain abilities but apparently that was locked off in the alpha locked off in the alpha doesn't mean it won't be possible when the game comes out the most immediate thing you notice is that animation quality has drastically improved i don't see the improvement personally but it's because of the low quality of the leak and everything i will trust the devs like for any other aaa title <laughs> A A ah title. <laughs> Not that big a deal. But we've never seen animation quality this good in any Bioware game. I didn't actually play it, but I can tell it probably feels really good to control your character. No more stiff animations. It's all very fluid and seems also very responsive. So that's good to know. Jumping has also been retained. Yes. Will jumping also start conversations so that you get stuck like this? Yes. So rejoice if you enjoy jumping a little <laughs> jumping while traveling. My inquisitor jump jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. As the character was a sword and shield dude, he was able to parry attacks from enemies and follow up with counters. It's hard to tell their exact abilities. They only had two on hotkeys along with a special. Very restricted for a leak, very controlled. But one appears to basically be a drop kick and the other a charge sword attack. I'm not sure exactly what the special attack does. 
I don't usually play warriors, so I'm not familiar with warrior abilities. I always play mages and or archers, so I'm more familiar with those abilities. The UI is similar to Dragon Age Inquisition, but this is also alpha and UI is the last thing finalized in any game. Character has a chest slot, a helmet slot, a primary weapon slot, and a shield secondary weapon slot. Four accessories, one amulet slot, one belt slot, and two ring slots that make sense. Oh, and the player character's hair looked glorious. We wanted glorious hair options. I mean, it was clipping right through their helmet, but it was flowing and bouncing as they moved. Yeah, like as though my hair would be like sticking out of my headphones, like this fashion statement right there. And no more stiff ass hair. Now let's hope we have more than just two black hairstyles. I'm confident that we're gonna have so many more hairstyles, various options in regards to that. Enemies were pretty much just variations of Darkspawn, except the dragon, and again, they seem to have Riddlerium powers. You know, that's fine. Yeah, it looks dark and smoky outside, and this looks like the concept art that we got of Waste Hopped. This is interesting for the dialogue. There's worse than Darkspawn on the way. So, the Avenuris, maybe a monster. It could be simply referring to the dragon, but I like to think maybe Blight Tainted Titan. Uh, we have the Avenuris. There are a lot of enemies that are worse than Darkspawn. There's worse coming than anything you've yet seen. And the walls won't hold it back. The walls won't hold Red Lyrian back. Maybe it won't hold the dragon back. The walls might not hold the Blight Tainted Titan back. The Gillanane or her monsters back. The Avenuris back. The walls won't hold Solus back. The walls will hold Kunaru back. So yeah, no. That's probably what it means. It looks like it's underground. It looks like it's rubble, the, the exterior rubble. So probably glow from red delirium. It's hard to tell, but it looks like destroyed. Waste hopped destroyed. This looks gray wardeny. Waste hopped kind of how I'm imagining it. These are characters we're encountering. All right. So here we got nine, 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 nine. <laughs> everything, everything, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so map, character, companions skills so that'll be like the skill trees collections this could be a placeholder but i think in collections there'll be like subsections i like the look i like the armor maybe this is the size of bag this looks icons for specializations and we do know that some specializations icons look like the icons of certain skills and abilities so i don't think these are necessarily skills and abilities i think these are specializations which means maybe one is basic so maybe this is your basic class and two specializations which would be more in line with dragon age 2 and with what we've been seeing with the combat is more in line with dragon age 2 so that would make sense for it or maybe three specializations. i'd like i'd like three specializations but if it's just the class and two specializations i'm happy with that too but this could be the class three specializations I don't think it's specific abilities. You got your skills here. So let me know your thoughts about the leak. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to be Jimmy Approved, and I'll see you all soon. Maseratus. Mm -hmm.